I don't know if some of these models or sprites are correct because I'm running this in Half-Life and not Counter-Strike, but differences aside, the map of the month for September of 2011 is D-Racetown, created by DoggyBag71. D-Racetown is a very nice throwback to the styles popularized by Counter-Strike with an enormous layout and many details that reflect the life of the map. It's very reminiscent of D-Italy, complete with radios and music, as well as many Easter egg-like details giving the map a ton of character. It also has quite a lot of dark humor, such as the sign that warns you about its sharp edges. Even though the edges of this sign will not hurt you, the edges of the deer crossing signs will. The bridge with the waterfall is really cool. Doggy Bag certainly has an iron grip on rock formations and terrain elements. The waterfall bridge can be exited onto the surrounding cliffs, where you can dive from the rock and land safely in the water below to find another radio and some lounge chairs, as well as a teleport to lead back up to the bridge and a sprite saying that he made the map. Another thing noticeable in this map is that some of the paths seem very long. It feels like you run on them for a good mile before finally reaching some kind of civilization. Just like the rest of the map, the city is also very largely scaled, yet maintains a low polygon count because obviously someone knows what they're doing when it comes to optimization. It's simply refreshing to see that in an old gold source based map. The city is filled with a variety of humorous posters, primarily Asian in nature. Amongst that, you will find a Swedish embassy where you will meet the first bomb site. Blowing up the embassy is a good motive as an objective, though charring their front stoop would most likely just piss them off. Along a little further is the second bomb site, which is a quiet, harmless park with a pond and a single building. If anyone would want to blow up a park, is taking their role as a terrorist a bit too seriously. What kind of bastard do you have to be to hate nature that much to blow up the one little oasis of green in the middle of a concrete jungle? Anyway, I digress. It loops back from there, but you can ninja through a vent on the side of the all-natural bomb site to get into a building. The interior of this building speaks to me since it's not high scale like the rest of the map and is the only place where you can feel intimate with the surroundings. At the end of this tunnel, you exit to return to the starting location to complete a lap, I guess. Alternately, there's another way through the natural part of the map that comes out to a bridge and more countryside. I like the bridge because it's well made and authentic looking, however, I don't like the random floating room visible from it. Upon further inspection, I notice that the map is layered onto itself preposterously, breaking many laws of physics, giving the map a much larger real estate factor without actually having a large footprint. I find this alternate path to be simply just another scenic route to the city. Along the way, I found a few nice logs and stumps. Unlike the signs that have sharp corners and will hurt me, the logs have no sharp corners but will still hurt me. Why you no like me, nature? Ultimately, I now see the need to bomb a park. d Town is an extremely well-crafted map with an excellent amount of variety, space, and character with its fitting choices of textures and overall ambience. A lot of skilled work went into this map and it definitely shows through. A map of this style, I could easily recommend making a version of it for multiple games like Half-Life Deathmatch, Team Fortress, and other popular multiplayer. If you haven't spent 20 minutes exploring this map, go do it now. So here's the judging. D Racetown scores 100% on architecture for its amazing craftsmanship and brilliant use of mapping. A 95 on texturing. All the textures are fitting, detailed, and a good variety, complete with posters and funny signs, although the textures are pretty generic. Ambience receives a 95 since it's mostly there. There are a few quiet spots, and there is quite a lot of ambience throughout the tunnels. Lighting receives a 75% because I would like to have seen something a little more interesting than that of a well-lit day. Perhaps a morning or evening setting with streetlights to keep it all well-lit 
still, instead of relying on the skylight, I don't know, gameplay receives a 75%. Mostly because it seems like it would be nice to play, it also seems too favorable for long-range weaponry. Also, travel time could be an issue since a round in Counter-Strike is only a few minutes long, but that's not counting the possibility of vehicles. The final score for D Racetown is a 92%. This map is frankly one of the more unique maps I've seen in a long time. Please format this for a Half-Life Deathmatch and toss it up on the server so we can all give it a good shot.